Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PS3 review. Today I'm going to take a look at Resistance Fall of Man, which if you've never played it before, it's a first person shooter. So anyway, at the start here you've got campaign, co-op, multiplayer which is online, and options. Options you've got audio visual, you can customise the controls which is pretty damn good and you can actually save a lot of custom sets as well. Credits and the cinematics are obviously the game cinematics after you've viewed them. So I'm just going to start a new game here, three difficulties as you can see at the start here, just going to medium. And I'm um, just going to have Panda skip past the cutscenes, really, and the loading times as well. So here we go then, this is the first level. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit violent here. Just in case you don't know the story, it's like World War II, but with the aliens and you get infected with some disease. Yeah, health there is in the bottom left corner, and as you can see, you've got four bricks of it. And basically, when you go down a brick, you have to collect a med pack to go up a brick. Uh, the unique thing about it is, when you actually get infected with a Chimera disease, it will, will recharge the rest of a brick, so if you have a millimetre of brick 2 here, then it will fill up brick 2, so that's pretty damn cool. Uh, quite a few weapons in the game, 16 overall. One of the cool things about it is, after you beat the game the first time, you do actually get different weapons the second time. However, this is where it gets a little odd, because if you beat the game in co-op, then it does still allow you to get the, second, like the, the new weapons, but not in co-op. So it'll count you beating the game for the first time in co-op, but you don't get the new weapons in the co-op mode. So that's a little odd, annoying, irritating, whatever you want to call it. All I know is it pissed me and my brother off when we first beat the game. So anyway, bottom right you've also got basically, well, what your weapons you've got active, what uh, how many grenades you've got, ammo, things like that. And the whole point is you have to run around killing people, going to the next checkpoint, killing more people, until you go on to the next level. 30 levels overall, so there's plenty there to do, and as I say it is co-op, so you've also got that added bonus. And then also the multiplayer mode, which I've already mentioned for online, well it's also got an offline. So I'm just going to fanny around, let you listen to a bit of the soundtrack while I, well, then cut to the multiplayer and show off some of that off. So here we go then, this is the multiplayer menu, loads of things on it, you've got like six different modes, deathmatch, meltdown, things like that, capture the flag, you've also got loads of different maps, there's 11 maps plus some of the other, like some of the normal maps allow you to choose different sizes as well, so it's kind of like having more maps. You can choose the timer, the rounds, put, put infinite rounds in if you want, game options, things like one it kills, health regeneration, map options, things like radar, weapon options, you can choose some of the weapons on or off, game modes, you can choose species and things like that. So. Just gonna uh, create the game now, then, anyway. As you can see, it's up to four player offline here, and you can choose your controls on here. You can also choose your skin if you want to, things like that. So, just while we set this up, just gonna have Panda skip past the loading. So, here we go, then. This is the multiplayer. Standard hood is basically top left of the screen. It's got, well, how many kills you've got and points and that. Top right, you've got the radar, which basically obviously shows you where people are going and where they are at the time. So, let's be brother just over there, so let's uh, try and kill him. Uh, as well as the uh, well extensive amount of multiplayer maps, you can also download a couple extra via the content, but it does cost you, so it's pretty cool if you like the multiplayer anyway, but if you don't, obviously, then you're probably not going to want to spend them. One of the cool things about the game is, though, just uh, while I was on fire there, you can use the six axes if you switch it on, if not, then you have to use the analogs to put yourself out of fire. You just shake it around or shake the analogs around. Um, there's also something else to keep you playing a little bit, it's basically like kind of like achievements, so there's things like kill three Chimerian with one grenade at one point, beat the game on hard mode, which is a pretty stupid achievement, but still, you've also got things like collect 20 intel on a mission, well not on a mission, just like 20 intel and 10 intel, things like that. It's just something to keep you playing and it also means that you can actually unlock some extra stuff, which are just things like art, documentary, some extra costumes for the multiplayer, and also the level flip, which is pretty cool. Um, nothing really much else left to say other than that graphically the game looks amazing. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. 
Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.